and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Sims 4 speed build for you and this one's kind of interesting. I decided that I wanted to replicate one of the dollhouses in the game. So the kids in the game have several different dollhouses depending on what packs you have that they have access to and that you can give them to play with. So I thought why don't I actually replicate one and then you can actually use it as a real house. So I decided to do this for the modern dollhouse and I'm actually going to go ahead and put pictures over the screen of the front and the back of what the dollhouse should look like. So I actually ended up taking the dollhouse, sizing it up really large on this same lot that I'm building on and taking some screenshots of it. So honestly, I had these up on my other monitor so I could actually see what I was trying to replicate in decent detail. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave those on the screen so you know what we're going for and you know what the goal is. And so this definitely took a lot of work with different platforms and different pieces of <laughs> types of building things that there are in the game. And honestly, this definitely had me exercise like my ability to build. And I kind of like that. I feel like sometimes like I feel like maybe I'm in a rut or I do the same things often. And I feel like trying to do something like replicating a build or trying to do something new helps like expand what you know I know how to do and help spark some creativity. So this was definitely interesting. You can see I'm messing around with this like roof piece here because in the middle of the build there there's like this super angled piece. Um, why? I don't know but <laughs> there it is. So I was trying to make that like an actual room but it wasn't working out super well with the angles so I just actually just used a piece of roof for that and then I I end up just like having to tweak and move different pieces of the build around and you can actually see too I <laughs> I left two little dollhouses <laughs> on the lot while I was building this too to help as well so I had the screenshots on my other monitor and I had those little ones there too to help me zoom in if I needed to so every now and again you might see me like tilt the camera so I can like look at the dollhouse because I felt like that was also really helpful to be able to see them like on the same lot at the same time. Because obviously I wasn't going to leave that dollhouse huge while I was trying to build it. But I actually had a really good time doing this and trying to figure it out and like how do I fit these pieces together with the limitations that we have in The Sims. And I really enjoyed it. And this house even has like a helicopter pad on the side. So like this is a, I mean really interesting home. I did actually end up like sizing up one of the kids toys that looks like a helicopter. So there is a helicopter on that helipad. And this is actually going to be part one of two because it took me a while to actually build this. And I also wanted it to be there in case you wanted to just use this as a shell. So this is up on the Sims 4 gallery. If you want to download it, you can grab it, decorate it, do whatever you want with it, but you can have your own personal dollhouse. So decorate it how you please, do whatever you want. I did put it on this huge lot, so you, you might be able to put it on a smaller lot. You just may lose a little bit of the landscaping. And so I did end up trying to replicate it as close as possible. I did take a little bit of creative liberty on the back of the house, especially that pool, because like seriously, the size of the pool that is with that dollhouse, that does not match the size of this house. Like, please, no. So I made it a little bit larger and actually decorated that backyard space so you could actually use it for entertaining. So when you download the shell, if you would like to, the backyard is like decorated and I have some minimal landscaping, not a lot. I ended up leaning a lot into what was already there. So a lot of those palm trees that were around this lot, I actually ended up just using those. Like I felt like this was this like really cool, like tropical lot. I don't know. It just seemed like it fit really well. So of course you can change the landscaping if you want to, put it on a smaller lot, all that kind of good stuff. But I will be actually decorating the inside of it. And at the time of me recording this voiceover, which is actually the Friday before you see it, <laughs> so a little bit before that, my mom is actually on her way here right now. So I'm actually really excited. So we may actually like decorate the inside of this together, which I'm really looking forward to. And I feel like this is gonna be a task <laughs> to decorate the inside of this home because it ends up being pretty large. Like I tried to scale it properly and I think that helped a little bit with getting a lot of the details in. And 
I mean, it's it's gonna take me a minute <laughs> to decorate the inside. And I haven't exactly decided how I want to do that. And I used a lot of like dark navy blue accents on the outside of the house, like in the lawn furniture. And so I'm thinking maybe I'll pull some of that inside. And I was taking some inspiration from these windows, these like teal windows, which Listen, this is one of my favorite colors. It is all over my house. That pink and purple. I mean, my whole desk is purple. I mean, not purple, pink. Oh my gosh. I'm like literally staring at my desk and I can't even say the name of a color correctly. Like everything is pink on my desk, my keyboard, my mouse. I have this like adorable mouse pad that has little donuts on it with little faces and sprinkles. I mean, but teal is like everywhere else in my house, <laughs> um, along with the rainbow of art on the back wall of my office. If you've seen any of my like face cam videos, you've seen that. But anyways, I'm going on like a total aside there. So the, I really spoke to me the teal on this house, which actually may be why I chose to do this doll house versus some of the other ones. And here I'm actually just pulling out all of the different like windows that I think might fit so I could find the best one that I liked. And so this one I really liked because it had multiple different versions so I could really pick and choose what window would be best where and actually while putting windows on the build I feel like I found more places that I needed to change a little bit and I actually ended up running into a little bit of an issue um, on part of the house where I was like why aren't these windows fitting properly like it just it was a whole thing so I did my best to try to keep it like it should be and on the back, I did take a little bit of creative liberty because on the back of that dollhouse, it's just like open because it's a dollhouse. So I ended up just trying to mimic what I could and feel like, you know, filling in some of the blanks, like what would be useful. Like I put in a door by the pool, like that kind of thing. But I tried to keep it really true to what I feel like that dollhouse would look like if it had a back. <laughs> and the backyard ends up being really lavish, really wonderful, the huge pool. And then I end up also putting in a hot tub back there because I just felt like that would be really appropriate here. And you can see I'm messing around a lot with this piece because I was having some issues with actually fitting windows on it for some reason. And I'm not sure why or what I did to cause that issue, but I did work it out. So we do get some windows on there. So don't worry, I fix it. And it ended up making me have like to make those a little bit taller, which is fine. I think that still worked pretty well with the aesthetic of the home. And honestly, like it has that little piece on top. I don't know why that's there. Um, I'm assuming maybe it's supposed to be some sort of like HVAC system or, or something, maybe a really fancy chimney modern thing. I don't know, but it is up there. That just little piece of platform, but your Sims should be able to get into all those pieces, except for like that roof piece in the middle. I mean, I have not done the interior yet, but they, those should be usable spaces. And I, like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Um, at this time I haven't done the interior and I don't know, I'm really worried about like stairs, like how do you get from one place to another? Like I kind of like, I wanna be inspired by so many, the, all the windows that are there. Like that's just so exciting, that space that's there. Like, I don't know, like I see it being like some sort of studio or some sort of like cool, like, I don't know, executive office. Like I just, I'm not sure, but it is interesting that there are so many windows on the second floor, but on the first floor, there's not as many, which I thought was, kind of an interesting choice to make. And, but you know what, it mimicked what was on the dollhouse. So I'm gonna make it work. And I'm sorry if you can hear what sounds like a super loud motorcycle going by right now on my street, but that's what that was. If you could hear that, <laughs> that was a little bit random, but I'm actually adding in some pieces here because I realized that there was actually like that diagonal kind of piece on the side of the dollhouse. And I feel like I kept finding things to add and change, which is actually kind of nice, you know? There's just so many layers to this. And I did try to mimic what was on the back of the house in terms of like, you see those two like open spaces back there on the second floor. One of them on the dollhouse has a plant. So I place a plant <laughs> on that and I treat it as a patio. Now it doesn't have any fencing because the dollhouse did not have any fencing and it is the Sims. So 
they're not gonna like fall off but oh my gosh i couldn't imagine actually having like a real home without some sort of railing or something like that it's probably illegal like and against building code to do that but in the sims we don't have to worry about it so i left it that way to match <laughs> the dollhouse and for this backyard i'm extending it a little bit because i wanted it to have this nice like eating area and a nice lounging area and then i actually ended up using that little nook over there as like a place where we have some gardening i'll add that in later and then a trash can over there and fun fact actually when i was doing this part of the build i placed all this furniture and then i decided i forgot what it was i wanted to change something or undo something and in the game you have an undo and redo button well i'm not sure what happened but i undid all those things thinking i could tweak something and then redo them Fun fact, you can't do that. <laughs> so I undid all of this decorating I did back there. And then I had to manually do it all again because I figured I couldn't like redo what I did. Anyways, so hopefully like it placed back the same way. I actually end up, I can see one difference right now. <laughs> the dining table, it actually now magically has two chairs on the end. And that's because that's where I ended up having to change it <laughs> because I had to do it I ended up doing it from memory so now we have two extra chairs which eh, I figured that would be just fine and then just adding some lights inside of the pool and I feel like I usually change the pool color to that really deep like pretty teal color but honestly the color that it came with I felt like matched the house better if that makes sense and that's upstairs me adding in that like seating space that is so dangerous <laughs> in real life and and I'm just now realizing that one of my plants is crooked. Oh my gosh, that one by the grill. Well, if you download this off the gallery, that's an easy fix <laughs> if you want to fix it. And also be sure to use bb.move objects that cheat when you put this down. And that goes for like all of my builds. It's just a friendly reminder that I use a lot of move objects. So if you place it without that cheat on, it might like delete a bunch of stuff and move stuff around. So just a heads up. And then I, like I said, I kept this pretty simple. I didn't add a lot. I thought about adding all this like crazy landscaping, but honestly, I just kind of wanted to keep it nice and clean and simple to go with this modern look. Look. and again it also leaves room for you to add stuff to it as well who knows when I start doing the interior maybe I'll decide on something to put in the exterior so that might change when it comes to the full build but you know we'll see what happens when I do that and then I ended up adding those little like heaters on the back porch which I think are super fancy I don't know if you've ever been to those like places that have those outdoors so helpful I've never had one in my life but I was like this is really fancy I don't think I've ever used this in the game but there it is and I did end up actually putting in some sand around because I'm like I don't know it just feels like if you can own this house you can probably import some pretty sand <laughs> around your palm trees so I just ended up using that as kind of my terrain paint instead of the usual like dirt or stone and then I just end up adding you know a few more bushes around and then we do end up adding that hot tub on the back as an extension of the pool and I think that turned out actually really nice and there's a really great entertaining space for your sims to have people over I feel like maybe whoever maybe the person lives here is like really famous this is like in the get famous area so I don't know maybe it's a celebrity that lives here and they have lots of really fun parties but anyways if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe i would really really appreciate it and of course as always leave comments down below if you have any ideas or things that you want to see i would love to read through those but anyways i hope you're having a really sweet day bye everybody